Once again, I'm going to precariously, nope, around there. Nope, that's not good. Okay. Ravens, it's me, Abby, a lead raven you haven't seen much on screen. That's because I'm usually behind the scenes doing things like social media and whatnot. But stay with me um, for our last video of the year, because it is our last video. I wanted to pop on screen and talk about preserving with y'all. For me, this is like the most important step of creating things is that final step where we preserve and honor what we've created. Um, so this is maybe a little bit of a, a metaphorical operation. Okay, we're preserving the products we've made this year and I'm gonna preserve this red onion that's been sitting on my counter for a very long time that will go bad if I don't do something with it. So let's pickle some red onions. Let's talk about what we've done this year and have some fun. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is peel this red onion and then chop it up. So let's do that now. You know, oops. One of the things uh, that I've loved about this year is that we really got to, you know, create whatever we wanted to create. There were no rules. There were no previous uh, GBTR leads that we could go off. So we really got to decide for ourselves creatively what we wanted to do, um, which was very exciting. But I'm also excited for the next, um, the next generation of podcasters and videos with Raven Core that get to see what we've done and then also choose what they want to do for themselves. I think that's wonderful. Um, and I think that we've done so much here to be proud of. Um, we talked about it a little bit more on our, our podcast, this operation. We got together with, uh, with Rowan and um, a couple other people and really just discussed, you know, what we liked about this year, what we didn't like, what we thought we did well, what we wanted the next uh, round of Lee Ravens to improve on. Um, so there were just lots of good conversations. Uh, there are my chopped red onions, and now we're ready to move on to the next step. Then I'm gonna grab some uh, herb seasoning. This is a poultry blend from Natural Grocers. It has thyme, sage, marjoram, and rosemary in it. And I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of this into my mason jar. Nice hearty spoonful in there. <coughs> That'll give us some great taste to go along with our red onions. You know, one of the things that I love about preserving produce and stuff is that at the end of summer, when you're all done growing your vegetables, you have red onions, tomatoes, whatever, you get to put them in a jar and make something new out of them. And that's a really beautiful thing. It's an entirely new product, and yet it comes from the end of something. And I think in a similar way, we at Ravencore are very sad for this first year of GBTR to end. But we're also excited to take what we've learned this year and turn it into a new product, something different next year. Um, and it might look a little different. We might not be the same type of of program we had this year, but we are excited to take what we've learned this year and give you guys new content next year um, that's still focused on food and sustainability and looking at our world through a critical anti-capitalism lens. Now, the next three things you're gonna need are salt, sugar, and vinegar. Now, I only have white vinegar on hand, but if you do have apple cider vinegar, use that because the taste is so much better. Your pickled red onions are gonna turn out better than mine. And that's a fact I have to face. So set aside your mason jar, grab yourself a nice bowl, 
and we're gonna put in one cup vinegar and then one tablespoon sugar. I would use white cane sugar for this, organic if you have it. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt. All right, next thing you are going to want to do is whisk it up. I have this very fun tiny whisk for my purposes. And just whisk it up until the sugar and salt dissolve. Okay, so here is your next step to pickling these red onions. We're going to take our old product, the red onions that were about to go bad on my kitchen counter, and put them in this mason jar with all of our herbs. Then we're going to add our delicious pickling liquid. That vinegar, salt, and sugar. And I'm gonna try and not make a fool of myself and spill too much. And you know what? I think I need just a little bit more vinegar in there to top it off. Um, but it's okay to keep the salt and sugar the same. I'm just adding a little more vinegar anyways. All right, so this is our delicious pickling liquid. I'm now gonna put a lid on this. Seal it on nice and tight. Get all of those herbs up in there. They're gonna be delicious with our red onions. And then this goes in the fridge for at least eight hours, if not more. The longer you leave it in the fridge, the better it tastes into the fridge for at least eight hours. I've also got some pickled cucumbers and some pickled beets in here. You can pretty much do the same thing with uh, any vegetable. With beets, obviously you might wanna roast them before, but pretty similar process. Morning, Ravens. Um, it is not eight hours later. It's like three days later because you know what? It's dead week and my life is crazy right now. Um, but I want to check on the pickled red onions I have in the fridge and make a little breakfast with them. So I'm just going to start by making some toast first. Um, and then I'm going to check on the red onions. And now let's go look at the red onions. All right, this is what they look like now. Look at all of the like juices that have fermented together in this jar. Oh, it's gonna be so tasty, y'all. I mean, oh, it's gonna be amazing. What I love about pickled red onions is that you can literally put them on anything and it will make something taste better. Ah uh, yes, this is the college life. No toaster, so I toast my bread in the oven. All right, now that we've got our toast here, I'm gonna spread some chive cream cheese on it. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna get some pickled onions on this morning experience. up. The red onions are also way softer once you pickle them for a while, but these will really keep in your fridge for like maybe a month or so. I would say any longer than that is cutting it, but 
great way to preserve veggies for a little while. And if you want to, you know, uh, be able to preserve them for longer, you'll have to do um, jar pickling with a, a boiler and all of that stuff. But if you've only got a little time, this is great. All right, there we go. And that is my morning breakfast. Cream cheese and red pickled onions. I mean, that's delicious. Just remember to brush your teeth afterwards. All right, let's try this. Mm. The pickled red onions just give it like crunch, flavor, and like a beautiful color too. I would really recommend red onions for this just so you can get some like pretty color in whatever meal you're making. Mm. So yeah, that is all I have for y'all for our last video of the year. Um, I'm so glad for all of you who have watched our videos and listened to our podcast. We are just so thankful for having the opportunity to be the first GBTR uh, lead ravens and just spend time thinking about using food as a, a tool of resistance and a, a tool against oppression and capitalism. Um, so thank you for following us on this journey. Um, I hope you will tune in with us uh, next year for whatever we have in store uh, as, as uh, ravens and have a wonderful holiday. Bye y'all.